Hey guys, welcome to this episode of Kung Fu Report. Chris, please come on in. So today we're going to um, talk a little bit about grabs. Because last time I was doing a very, I forgot which episode, by the way, recent one. We're doing a entry, and then Chris grabs. And I was doing a shoulder strike and a follow up. And interesting email came in, the guy goes, yeah, what happened? The guy just grabbed your lock in, is really big and strong, is grabbing you, and you don't want to or you can't throw your shoulder. Um, there's many, many, many ways you can respond to that, right? And I thought it'd be interesting to look at a technique like this. If Chris does clench me and I can't move, he's really, he's really, really strong, he's way bigger than me. I can go like this, right? This is what I just did right here. <laughs> yeah. So you can actually grab and tear this part of the arm, right? And, sorry. I'm not going hard, but if I just squeeze, nothing happens. Chris doesn't hurt, right? But if I wrap my entire body, then, then it changes it. So I'm not just squeezing with my forearm muscle, but I'm actually coordinating my whole body as I'm moving, right? Kind of like when you're using a pulley machine in the gym, you don't just pull with your arm, you coordinate your whole body, or when you're throwing an axe strike, same thing. So if you shorten it, this kind of wrapping work, you'll see in Mantis, you'll see in Crane Arts, you'll see in a lot of arts, you'll see in the Hong Guard and stuff like this, right? Or another thing you can do, the guy grabs really hard. If he grabs, I can grab back too, right? You can also grab back. You see this a lot in different arts, right? If you can grab the face and the eyes and the groin, you can. if he grabs really hard, you can also grab the throat. If I just don't resist, if I just grab the throat, nothing happens, right? But if I, if I distract him first, look what happens. When I hit him here, I distract him and I went up. Yeah. yeah, so. And of course, again, the wrapping, right? If I wrap, he falls. If I don't wrap, he doesn't fall. I'm not going to go into how to do that right now because that's the whole body, maybe later. Or the guy, <laughs> last one. Or the guy grabs you, you can't get up, you can also grab here, right? You can grab the chest right in here and you can turn the guy and you grab him his arm at the same time. That turns him, right? Ooh, but that's not, and again, that's in Hong Kong, that's in Crane, that's in Mantis, in the many system. But, it's not just in like that, it's just common sense. You see that in old time wrestling? You see a lot of old judo players do that before they were training with the gi back in the old days. It's just dirty tricks, right? So, okay, thanks Chris. Oh, one more thing. The reason why this work is, because the guy opened up to grab. He can't grab you like this, he has to open up to grab you. When he opened up to grab you, you can do the moves that I do. But the moves that I just did would not work if you can't overcome your natural instinct. If a guy grabs you, your natural instinct for most people when they're scared is to grab back. That's like not a smart thing to do. Because as soon as he tries to grab and he opens up, he's giving me a free shot. I should be taking the free shots instead of grabbing back and freezing. Don't freeze, right? When we get back, we'll talk a little bit about that. All right, guys, two of the key concepts today is when you're grabbing, it's not about how hard you can grab. A lot of people think it's about your forearm muscles and grabbing, but it's actually when you're moving, even though it didn't look like I was moving much, it's the idea of coordinating your whole body when you grab. Starting with really big gross movement to more refined movements, which I didn't show the progression, of course, in this clip. So that's principle number one. Number two, and the most important one, is the ability to overcome your natural instinct. Some of your natural instinct responses is good. Some of it is a liability. So in this case, when a guy grabs you, freezing and grabbing back, this natural response is a liability. So in it's not so much the techniques, it's easy to remember the technique, but it's the ability to teach yourself not to freeze, not to just stand there and grab back and panic when a guy grabs you. Instead, taking the free shot he's offering. So those are the things you'd be training. If you're interested in this kind of work, you can go to my website. Recently, I released a new program, which is the full immersion course, which includes the Wing Chun level one and six, of course. But more importantly, because if you guys are requesting it, it actually includes a lot of non-Hong Kong Wing Chun or even non-Wing Chun material that you saw from previous episodes like the Trolley Foot Long Power Strikes, um, the Hakka Fist, the Shocking Power, the Dragon stuff, and today all the grabbing stuff. And it goes on and on and on and on. And as time goes on, in this full immersion course, I'll be adding more and more and more material ongoing, right? Also, it gives the student a free access to all the vin vintage library session of the website, which includes a lot of self-defense, weaponry, um, multiple opponent, ambush, it goes on to many topics of self-defense. And lastly, is basically an emph like emphasizing progressive solo training. So if you don't have a training partner, it's a good program for that. Okay, hope to see you there.